You're absolutely sure about that, Professor Semenov? It's the only logical explanation. How else would Amelieva's gamma brainwaves be able to interact with Chernobylite if it wasn't at least partially sentient? And what about the gate? Some advanced form of telekinesis. That's not a sufficient explanation, not by a long shot. But if what you're saying is true, that would mean that the wormholes are... No, that is impossible. Why impossible? Think about it. Just because we've never seen an organism powerful enough to create, withstand or even direct the exotic energy found near black holes, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So these fractal tunnels, they're also organic. So we're what? Traveling through the veins of a giant multidimensional Moby Dick? Right now, thanks to his trials, only the Black Stalker is. And if you like to play with metaphors, I would say more like a giant multidimensional squid. And that would make the shadows, what? Some kind of external white blood cells? I quite like that theory. They are here to nourish the main host and protect it from intruders and diseases. Us? Most of us, yes. Shadows emerged through the unstable gate, so you don't think it was retaliation or an invasion? No. I would rather call it the reaction of an organism that was attacked by something foreign. By foreign, you mean our test subjects. So shadows are some sort of antibodies. 
Exciting, isn't it? And Amelieva is... like the correct protein, the conduit. She can communicate with the beast, but the beast can also speak through her. I've seen what happened to subjects who were exposed to Chernobylite. Getting some face time with this must be unsettling. What do you care? Our names will go down in the history books next to Newton and Einstein. Of course, Professor Semonov. This is all worth it. So Chernobylite is some kind of sentient, multidimensional organism. And Tanya can communicate with it. This is... I can't even wrap my head around this. It's been so long, my love. Why can't I hear you anymore? Since you gave birth to the boy and fell into a coma. You used to visit me in my dreams. I miss our conversations. I... I miss you, Tanya. Sometimes, I think I lost my way in all this. Lost myself. We both made so many sacrifices, and now I'm not even sure what awaits us at the end of this road. But this is our only chance to be together. You cannot lose hope now. Please, just let Semenov have what he wants. Give it to him, and then we can have each other. Poor bastard. It seems his delusion keeps him going. But I need to focus. I have to find out what Tanya is supposed to give to Semenov. It's fascinating, Professor Semenov, really. But I'm here to discuss business, not scientific curiosities. Our investors need to see a return on their investment. You don't need to worry about that. It can be monetized in ways they can't even imagine. But that's just the thing. These people don't like surprises. They want to know precisely what to expect. New types of weapons? Medicine? A new means of transportation? All of that, and more. You can tell your precious investors that the millions they're pouring into our project 
will come back to them as billions. And what about the Duga radar? It's been drawing all kinds of unnecessary attention over the years. These dark tourists and those damn stalkers. It has served its purpose. You can scrap it and make razors for all I care. We've got Amelieva now. She's the ultimate conduit. What we have in the works right now, it will transform the NAR into the biggest conglomerate in the world. It's going to be a trillion dollar business. We will use Amelieva to stabilize the gate to another world, the Chernobylites world. And once we are able to travel there, this will be a revolution unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. You could call it an ontological shock. Ontolo what? Never mind. Okay, as long as you find a safe way of putting a dollar sign on it, you've got the permission of the board. But, you know, just keep your feet on the ground, okay, Professor? We're here to make money, not destroy the world or cause shocks of any kind. I've got it all under control. Everything is in place, and our patient Zero is ready. Dear God. So that's what Semenov needs Tanya for? Stabilizing a wormhole? A gate to the origin of Chernobylite. I need to get to the power plant and find her fast, before he can carry out this insane plan. Who knows what can happen to her, or to the world? I've got to make a plan, and move fast. Thank you. 